Hello, I'm Bobo Bling and I'll be explaining how to use all of the wiring components. So the first thing you'll want to know is wires. Wires are what connects everything besides wireless stuff, but we'll get into that later. And so there's hidden wire which can go in the box, or there's visible ones, all different types. Alright, here are the buttons. So how buttons works is you can press it like this and a output. So you have a input which is a button, and then you have an output, so like this. But the main difference is that this is called the big button, which means you can hit it and see it will turn on. And this is the small one, which can only be pressed with your hand, so you can't hit it with a bat. The big button can be hit with your hand and the explosion. Next we have the power block. This one's really simple. It basically always puts an output out. You can see the light will always sit on since there's always an output. This is the load in block. How it works is whenever a map gets reset and whenever you load into a map, it'll activate. So to replicate it, let's do this. So the map is just reset it and the light just went on. This is a solar panel. As expected, it will turn on during the day and at night it won't activate. These are the tap blocks. You tap it and it turns on. There's different variants such as the 1x1, the 2x2, and the 4x4. They all make this little click sound whenever you hit them and they produce one output. So these are gates. Whenever you walk through, they turn on. They have a variant of the 2x2 and the 4x4. This block requires two inputs. So only press one and you don't get any output. You need to press two of these to get an output. This block, it doesn't matter. It can take two inputs and still have an output. So you can press both of these and it'll still have it. No matter which you press it. They will both go through and they both produce an output. This one is an opposite. So whenever you press it, it turns off, but by itself, it's always on unless you press it. This block will only let one input go through, so press both, and they don't go through. Only one is allowed to go through. So you can press this one, it's fine. You can press this one, it's fine. But if you press both, it cannot go through. This one, you can press it, and it will toggle on and toggle off, like a light switch. But you can also press this button to turn it off. This one, when you press it, it will always stay on. So you can press the button how many times you want, but the output will stay on until you press this button, which turns it off. This one's a bit more tricky, so I recommend not using it, but here's the explanation. By itself, this cannot go through. No matter how many times you press it, it will not go through. But if you press this, nothing else will happen. So you have to press this, and then this. Now, this will always not stay on. This is used, this block is used for memory. And so, yeah. Basically, you have to press this button, and then this button while this is on, for it to go through, and then stay on until you press it back again to turn it back off. This one is a randomizer. When you press it, it can have two outputs. You can connect more of these to get more in to get more outputs. These are all delayers. This one, this one, and this one. The bigger the size, the larger amount they delay by. This one is a really quickly. This one delays it by a short bit, not noticeable. This one delays it by a full second. And this one delays it by a whole 10 seconds. These blocks both hold the pulse, so when you press it, it stays on for longer. This one is by a second, and this one is by a whole 10 seconds. This is wireless wiring, so no physical, no actual blocks. So when you press it, this will turn on because yellow turns on yellow. So these have an input, so these like short knob ones, this has an input. And these larger ones are the receivers, so these will power input. The red one will not take one because it is not colored red, only this one will activate since it is yellow. This is the reset map block, so when you press it, it will automatically reset the map. These are lights. When you press them, they glow up. They don't actually emit any light, but they do come in 1x1, 2x2, and 4x4 variants. This is the monitor. Whenever you press it, it turns on. It's like, sort of like the light, but it's a lot more decorative and has sound effects. 
This block will produce light when turned on and spin it like it's an alarm. This light will actually emit light, so whenever it's dark, it will emit light. These are doors. I'm only be showing one example of this one of the smallest doors, but all of these will activate and act as doors. So, pretty simple, but when not activated, you cannot go through. But when it's pressed, it will open up, letting you go through. This block changes direction on how it's inputted. So if you input it, it goes left. And when it's not, it's right. This can be used for separating items or blocks. This is a key. You can eat it. You don't get any stuffing though. And it works just like a regular key. For example, you cannot put you cannot put the blue key in the yellow key slot, but you can put the blue key in the blue key slot. And it will only go for its color. So it is the same as the wireless transmitter. It is color coordinated. This block dispenses items or blocks. For example, it will dispense a bat whenever I produce an input. This block will only accept of what it's showing. So this will only accept what it's showing. For example, this block will not accept anything because this is the wrong item. It will only accept this. This will give an RC an item and turn on. So, as you can see, the RC card went through it and it's gotten the item and it's given the output. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe and comment down what tutorials I should make next. Bye bye.